Hello, we're here in Newport, Rhode Island for the Digital CMO Summit. Here at the Hotel Viking are some of the world's leading marketers giving presentations on their challenges and opportunities moving forward. Over the next two days, we're going to interview some of those marketers for Digital 180. Enjoy. Hello, we're here with Michael Rucker from YouTube. He is Product Marketing Manager, and we're going to ask him a few questions, obviously about the industry and video. And uh, Tell us a little bit, Michael, about the difference between broadcast video and online video. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think uh, when we look at broadcast versus online video, it's definitely a different consumer experience, and it's important for marketers to recognize that. Um, obviously, in terms of media consumption, people are still consuming video uh, on television, uh, but we're seeing more and more people going online and consuming that video online. But that experience online is very different. Uh, people talk about it, and it sometimes becomes a little cliche, but I think it really is true, that lean back experience on television and broadcast versus that lean forward participatory, participatory experience in the online space. Um, and so as users are you know, opting into that viewing experience, engaging with that content, having the ability to rate and comment and forward along, uh, that becomes increasingly important for brands to, be, to look to tap into. Um, so it's definitely a different consumer experience. I think marketers need to understand how to play in that space a little differently. So um, speaking about marketers, even more so advertisers, what kind of, what kind of results do advertisers or should they expect on the online channel versus the, uh, uh, versus the traditional broadcast channel? I think oftentimes marketers are looking for traditional sort of metrics around reach and frequency, and, and I, I think it is important to begin to sort of equate offline and online. Uh, but more so, it's not just about the reach and it's not just about the views. It's about how meaningful that view is. Uh, so we know on YouTube, for example, we like to provide markers with a sense of how much of their video did they actually watch, or which parts of the video were users really engaged with. Was that a meaningful view? Were people, as a result of that view, commenting, rating, favoriting? Were they forwarding it to their friends? And I think more and more, hopefully, we'll begin to shift to, as a result of that view, what kind of other behaviors were people taking uh, as a result? Were they searching? Were they engaging with additional content? Um, were they seeking out the advertiser's website or, or looking to actually convert in some way? Um, or was there some sort of attitudinal response? Now, you mentioned uh, just a second ago searching. I've uh, been hearing a lot more recently about how many people are actually searching on YouTube. So you start to think about that, that experience starting to change even more. Is, is, it, is that sort of the evolution you guys are looking for in that platform? Well, you know, I think it, uh, search is obviously a key part of the user experience on YouTube. And, and there have been a lot of you know, third-party research that's come out to, to show um, how important search is on YouTube. But I think it's, it's not just about search, it's about the discovery experience. So search is one of the ways in which users are discovering video content on YouTube. And I think it's important to figure out tools and ways in which marketers can tap into that search experience as they do on Google and other search engines. But as I said, it's not just about search, it's about discovery. So thinking about how users are discovering video content across the web and on YouTube as well is important. And so that's how we're thinking about it. So are users coming to the home page of YouTube and finding videos there? Um, so it's not just about search, it's about the discovery experience. So you, you also just talked about some of the other platforms. So your home page, the home page experience on YouTube is obviously different than the home page experience like on a, a Yahoo or an AOL. Uh, and so that, that is a challenge then for you? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I think, you know, obviously portals and different properties are looking to provide marketers with a huge amount of reach, especially as you see fragmentation online and media consumption generally. Um, obviously, YouTube has amassed a huge audience, and we think our homepage does a pretty good job of providing marketers with massive reach. Um, but I think at the end of the day, the YouTube users are coming to YouTube to consume video content. Yeah. And so unlike other uh, portals and other sites, I think that's really an important part of the site experience, an important opportunity for marketers to engage with their users. So obviously, um, it's a great opportunity to get users to consume video, and they're coming there for video, so tapping into that. Um, but I think also, uh, when you look at sort of how people are engaging with their insights, we actually work with Compete um, and looking at sort of um, their panel at, you know, how, who's coming to YouTube and who's coming to these other sites. I think it is interesting that when you look at the other, uh, you know, MSN and AOL and MySpace, that 40% of the people that are coming to those sites, um, so let me get the stat right, actually. Um, 40% of people that come to YouTube actually haven't visited one of those other portal sites on that same day. So for marketers that are looking to achieve reach, yes, there's an opportunity to look to Yahoo, to look to MSN, to look to MySpace, but there's also a huge audience that maybe hasn't visited that site in that day. So I think there's a reach component, but there's also the uh, added value and opportunity 
of really getting users to consume video content on the YouTube homepage. So, so one last question for you, um, sort of if you, a crystal ball question. If you look out into the future, you'd say from the advertising standpoint, the best days are still yet to come for YouTube then. Oh, absolutely. I think we're just sort of touching the surface, and I think from an industry standpoint, everyone's talking about video. Um, but more and more, that's going to come to, uh, come to bear. I mean, we heard today um, from Canoe Ventures about interactive television. Uh, we're seeing lots of traditional broadcasters and traditional video con content owners look to play in that online space. And so, I mean, the, the future is bright for online video. So I'm really excited not only for different publishers and properties, but for marketers that begin to continue to tap into it. Great. Well, thanks very much. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of the event. All right. Thank you.